Okay. Okay. Bro, his fucking grimoire is in his chest. That's actually kind of fucking cracked. He totally does not look like he belongs in this game at all. None whatsoever does this man have any right to be in this game. Oh, wait, are you, you're able to preview the Mori from here, right? I want to see this so badly. Damn. What the fuck? Bro, it's a fucking elf. Oh my god. I am going to be... What uh, how the fuck do you pronounce his name? Eastry? Either way, this is my new fucking main right here. 100%. This is my new main. Bardic Inspiration. I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, you actually have a loop. I don't care that's clipping through your wrist. That's actually beautiful. I love this. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Oh, that is cool. Bro, oh, that's so cool. Oh, I hate that scream, though. Not a fan of that scream. I'm gonna go down. Oh my god. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh god, that scream, though. Bro, why is her scream so horrible? And he's going after me. Nice. Okay. Well, that was fun. So, I'm a fucking elf. And I got freckles. I'm a pretty little princess. I, I just wanna, I wanna see what this looks like. <laughs> that fucking smile. <laughs> That fucking smile. <laughs> oh, that was scuffed. Oh, I can do my bark inspiration. Let's go. Do it. Yeah. No. You asshole. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> You'll never catch me alive, you eldritch song, bitch. Oh, damn it. I'm so bad. Don't you fucking laugh at me. And we got two DCs. Nice. Oh, do you think I can make the spear friendly? I think she wanna like I think she wants a song. Let's sing to her. Oh, she liked my song. Yeah, actually that makes me so happy that they're elves. I was like, when I realized that this was gonna be like DBD theme or I D, D themed, I was like, please for love of God, either like add either a orc, a halfling, or a elf as a survivor. She likes my music. <laughs> Dude, that is such a fucking scuffed smile. <laughs> it really is. Dude, it is so scuffed. <laughs> I bodied the bot. 
Yo, let's actually help her. Let's do it. <laughs> I love this. This is great. <laughs> I, I really want someone to come over. Oh, yes, Bardic Inspiration. Yes! Bro, does the fucking man karate chops the pallet in half? That's actually great. Low key, when I buy this uh, DLC, I actually might make it like a reoccurring thing on my stream. But like, I'll play the bard and we'll do nothing but try to seduce the uh, the killer. Let me bardic inspiration. <laughs> bard party. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny. He was only got singled out because he wasn't fucking uh, a stream. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. You look like you need a song. Fucking smile though. Can you feel better now, bud? No, you're you're supposed to yeah, you wanna come help. Oh that was actually the most wholesome thing I've ever witnessed in this game. Oh my god. Dairy? I love you. I just want you to know. You're gonna make me cry. I'm actually tearing up right now. What the fuck? That was so sweet. Is this just like he like perpetually playing the loop for me now? I think I bugged out the loop. Bro, his smile. That is a smile only a fucking mother could love. It's actually kind of funny though, because in my actual D&D uh, campaign that I'm a part of, I have a pet mimic. Her name is Brick, and she's the prettiest. She's the prettiest mimic. And I feed her every day. Still those seven... Oh, I think the game just crashed. See, you made Dead by Daylight crash with the amount of hours you've played. Are getting caught in the rain. You know, waking up at midnight. I was literally not even looking at the flashlight. I mean, like me personally, I hate playing D&D &D seriously. I don't find enjoyment out of that. I like playing D&D &D with the intent of just causing playful chaos. So like, uh, for example, my the character that I'm playing right now, he is a orc barbarian, and I based him off of the uh, anime character Kronk from Emperor's New Groove with, like, uh, Kuzco and Yzma. And he talks to squirrels, makes uh, spinach puffs, and just purely because he's an idiot and his muscles are, like, literally the size of, like, a normal person, I just kind of fuck shit up, but in, like, a playful way. Or like me just walking through a town destroys a um, like a stand, which then causes a fight. Or because I'm so stupid, I think something is interpreted a way that it's not meant to be. It's like for an example, um, we have this uh, pirate who is a uh, who's a prisoner on our ship, and he hates me. But I'm feeding him, you know, talking to him, and he flips me off. But my character thinks that we're best friends. 
So when he flips me off, I think that's a sign of friendship. And so um, I may have accident. I say accidentally. I may have flipped off a pirate warlord because I thought it was a sign of friendship. And that may or may not have started a fight where it was 4v20. Would your character, like, take a punch as a sign of friendship? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, he's a fucking orc. Muscles are everything to them. Kronk respect a muscle. The bigger the muscle, the better of a man you must be. I mean, like, uh, we were in a, a labyrinth, and um, there, it was, like, the floor was nothing but bones. Like, like literally, like, knee-deep bones. And, um, there was a chair in the middle of it with a very obviously suspicious do not fucking touch magic orb. Well, Kronk's feet were tired, and he wanted to sit down. So he goes over to the throne, and he touches the orb and moves it so he can sit down on the throne. By doing that, the orb then turns into a giant skeleton T-Rex. And, um... We have a, in a a rogue in our party. And I think they have to sneak behind people and they sneak attack, crit them, do lots of damage. And um Kronk wanted to do the same thing. So Kronk stealth behind this uh skeleton T-Rex the only way he knew how. And that was with his muscles. So what I did is I rolled a swim check. I did like, I rolled like a 19, which is really good. And with my sheer manliness and muscles, I butterfly swam through a pile of bones just so I could sneak behind a T Rex and hit him in the back. Because I was jealous of a rogue. It is today the funniest feat I've ever done, because it worked. <laughs> I actually snuck behind it. And I hit it so fucking hard, I chop its feet off from its body. We have a wizard who was polymorphed into a lizard. He's a he's a lizard wizard or a wizard lizard. And um, we found a chest in a cave. So, uh, well, we saw it through a crack in the wall. And so the lizard, being the small little shit that he is, climbed through the crack. I went to go open the chest. Well, the chest was a mimic. And so he got eaten, and we had to go save him. We had a certain amount of time before he just died. Like, he, he couldn't fight back or anything. And so the rest of my party tried to figure out a way to go around the wall. Because, like, obviously there had to there had to be another way in. Um, but so my party tried to find another way around. But Kronk had another idea. Um, so in D&D, there's a thing you can do called challenge, which when you challenge someone, you gain advantage on hitting them because you're like, that is the one and only thing you are focused on. Nothing else in the world matters other than that thing you just challenged. But that also means you take, uh, increased damage or disadvantage against other things that hit you. And so you might be thinking, well, you challenged the mimic, right? To hit it harder. No. I challenged the fucking wall. So I got my greatsword out, and I beat the living shit out of a wall. Because I wanted to save my friend. But yeah, and so the my whole party was able to go, they found another way around. It was like literally like 10 steps, and they found the other way. And I saw that they were on the other side of the wall, but I didn't give a shit. I wanted this fucking wall dead. And that's what I did. It took me four turns, but I destroyed a wall. And that, all of that right there is my character, Kronk in d, d in a nutshell. And I love him. You are a gentleman. You are a scholar. I'm sorry everyone had to leave. You deserve better. <laughs> Bro, I fuck with this guy. I love this dude. Literally, he's like, alright, peace out, I'm going to fucking bed. And then his end scream is just, have a shit day. <laughs> Bro, I've never related to a fucking end screen so much before.
I love him. I aspired to have the amount of shits that man has. Ah, fuck. Well, damn. Best survivor main NA. Right here. That was calculated. Meticulously planned out to the most minute detail. And yes, those were big words. And yes, I had to look up what they meant. Oh, and the game froze. 